Welcome back to Pokemon Xenoverse. In the last episode, we climbed up this mountain in search of Cardinal Abraham. And guess what? He's right here. Huh? Leave, I'm meditating. I told you to leave! Me and my Scalion are in the midst of our training. New far, you said? You must be quite tough if you manage to make it here, only to deliver me this water. I reckon it was hard. Let me give you and your Pokemon something. It'll give you your strength back. Except there was a free Porygon Center? Bless me, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Abraham. Amongst the four cardinals of Eldu, I am the one who protects the ground you're walking on. Mount Starburst is the heartbeat of our region, and without a proper balance, it'd risk destroying its own ecosystem. I'm here to ward it off, and at the same time, I take the opportunity to forge my spirit. Did you see that, Scalion? Someone came here for a visit. Ah! Then tell me, my young friend, do you want to listen to the old legends? You see, I know them all inside out. Whoever believes I'm more than 500 years old is not that far from the truth. Ha ha ha. But if my guess serves, that's not what you're here for, am I right? You know, you remind me of a person. Of course, you must be Versal's child. You are two of a kind. Your father was a great man and a real asset to our region. The terrible news of his disappearance was quite a shock for all of us. Oh, forgive my rude demeanor. What did you say your name was? 909, I see we came here seeking answers, don't you, kid? Well then, I'll tell you everything I know about it, but stay strong because this story doesn't end well. You should know that your father is- I hit A too fast. That's why he decided, along with his best friend Victor, to set up a laboratory in Hadworth City, with the purpose of making it the biggest one in the region. Victor wasn't a skillful trainer, but to make up for it, he was a first-class mind. In other words, he was a perfect partner for your father. Step by step, the lab staff enriched with new co-workers and became well-known all over Eldu. Among them was the renowned Aster, a kid about your age back then, who was considered an excellent and particularly bright assistant. Even though he had an old tub jaw from Pokemon Uranium for hair. In short, your father was doing his dream job along with his friends and a splendid family. But then the unthinkable. What you're wearing in your ears is the Earth Core, isn't it? Therefore, I shall say you are aware of the recent attacks by X Pokemon. They have become commonplace nowadays, but their discovery is not a recent thing. Your father and Victor discovered them. Creatures from a mysterious universe, the human mind could finally go further. Versil believed these specimens had to be bred as normal Pokémon, but Victor had completely opposite ideals. Since then, their paths diverged and the passion burning in the laboratory wound down. Invested in Nas' ideas, Victor resigned and promised he would have found a solution to the problem. Using the funds acquired in his studies, he set up his personal organization with the sole purpose of sealing the ex-Pokémon forever. As you might have guessed, Victor is the brains behind Team Dimension. Kid, it's very probable that he was the one who made your father Versil disappear, so that he could have no opponents. But unfortunately for him, his love has been inherited by the new generation led by Aster. Trust me, Team Dimension couldn't have made a worse enemy. Now I ask you to come with me, 9M9. I've got something to show you. Here, kid, follow me.
So, there's actually two new evolutions in Pokemon Xenoverse. The one you just saw is Scalion, while the other one is a sound type, Randion. I can think of a perfectly good reason why those two were added. Randion's pretty easy to decide because, you know, new type, new evolution. Uranium did it with Nucleon. But why a dragon type? We're heading for the Zenith Cave, one of the four Xenogates of the region. The access is permitted only to those who achieve Luxflon's blessing. Well, let's not argue semantics. I'll explain everything later. Planet team, team Dimensions, merely the first domino. The whole planet's in extreme danger. But to fully comprehend these words of mine, it's necessary for you to learn about this ancient legend. Ah, uh, yeah. Exposition dump. A billion years ago, the universe was ruled by a majestic and powerful Pokemon. Vacuum. Its size was comparable to a planet, its body burning like a star. Just like every creature, Vacuum was torn deep down by diametrically opposed intentions. The light, symbol of peace and evolution, and the darkness, bearer of terror and annihilation. Despite its tremendous power, the primeval creature was still subject to the arrow of time, and therefore doomed to age and become weaker and weaker. Meanwhile, the dark energy within the creature, willing to leave that dying shell, started rebelling with the purpose of establishing its own separated identity. And thus the darkness busted out of its prison, causing the death of the Pokémon itself. A large-scale deflagration was triggered and unleashed life throughout our universe. Galaxies, stars, and planets were generated. The Earth form, ruled by half by the light being Luxflon, who incarnated following the explosion, and half by the Dark Lord, Dragalisk. To maintain the balance between them, there were three elemental guardians, parts of Vacuum, too. The starter Pokémon, Shyleon, Trishout, and Shulong. So-called because they were forerunners of life. Aw oh, damn, I got one of the first three Pokémon. But Dragalisk was convinced that life wasn't necessary and banished them from its territory. Therefore, they found refuge in Luxflon's domain. Thanks to them, the hemisphere under the rule of the light being grew prosperous and florid. On the other hand, the one under the dark floors rotted and remained at a primal and hospitable stage. I mean, it became... Erica? Whereupon the latter, envious of its brother's work, decided to make its move. It wanted to steal some of the energy Luxflon used to make Earth flourish so rapidly. What was it? Oil? Thanks to the intervention of both Luxflon and the starter Pokémon, the attack turned into a defeat. However, Dragalisk was able to take over a tiny amount of energy it used to create soldiers under its will. The X-Pokémon! Along with its new army, the Dark One attempted another stampede, but it failed again. Then according to legend, the Light Being, horrified by this greed for power, broke into its energy reserves to turn away definitively its evil twin. In doing so, Dragalisk was confined in another dimension, the Xenoverse. Under the domain of Light, the Earth attained its fullest development. However, the Dark Lord never got over the defeat and tried several more times over the millennia to wreak havoc on its original planet by tearing fault lines in space-time. But if Team Dimension were to break into the Xenoverse, darkness would fall on our lives. The rifts already located all over the region would give Dragalisk its chance of revenge. It could finally be able to take over everything that Luxflon has developed until now. But there's a way to avert this threat. The starter Pokémon of the Harmony that keeps this world alive, and you, 909, bear one of them. You are expected one whose duty is to prevent this destruction. The region, no Earth, needs you. You're still missing something to do this, though.
I took you here to ensure you obtain a power that goes far beyond the one you currently possess. I'm talking about the Xenoversal Evolution. Thanks for that, you... God damn it. In order to be given this power, however, you have to cross the limits of man. 9M9, you see that enormous cascade there? That's not water flowing, it's terrestrial energy. It's Luxmon itself trying to patch the rifts between this world and the other. Only those who possess the Earth Core can therefore walk through the Xenogate behind it. But to do that, you must be filled with a certain amount of grudge. That's why I don't know what you're going to face in there or even give you any help. Remember, though, without good, there is no evil and vice versa. This is the key to harness blue energy. Enough with the lollygagging. Now it's time to act. Come what may, always trust your ability and your Pokemons. Delve in there and come back victorious with an incredible new power. Oh, light being to you is my prayer. Grant your Apostle the chance to face this trial. Oh, hey, rocks. Now go, 9M9. Oh, hey, it's a cutscene, technically. Er, we don't have control, is what I mean. A weird energy spreads through the cascade. The Xenogate sucks you towards it. Ah, damn it, I didn't want to go to Ohio. <laughs> no, it's my Ohio implode! Get me out of here, Ohio doesn't exist! <laughs> Finally, you can't even imagine how long I've been waiting for this moment. It could seem strange, but I don't need introductions because I... Am you? That's it. I'm your Ohioan. Your nemesis born and raised in this dark, gloomy world. I have no family, no friends, nothing like that. Damn, you definitely lose a fight against Don Toretto. I've watched you every single day of your life. You have all I ever wanted. I hate you with all my will. But the time for self-pity is over now, I'll finally have my revenge. By defeating you, I will take your place. <laughs> You're scared, aren't you? During all these years, I have thrived on your grudge, go growing stronger and stronger. You won't be the one defeating Team Dimension, not even the one saving Dad or anyone else. I will do it, and so I'll finally receive the glory I deserve. Come out, try shout day. See, 9M9, this tri-shout is just like me. It grew up in this cruel, primitive mood, not like your stupid Pokemon. You better watch out. This place is gonna be your grave! And we're challenged by our own alter ego. <laughs> they really got down every last detail of Ohio. Wait, why not? I forget if sound is immune to sound or just resistant to sound?
Why? Why? I can't believe it. I lost. I really lost. How can you be so good? Why do you have everything while I have nothing? I am the reflection of your grudge, your negative ego. You should be afraid of me. No, I don't think I will. Why are you still standing here without finishing me? You keep staying with me despite all this. This makes me, makes me happy. Are we fighting ourselves from an alternate world, or are we fighting Gygas? And we cannot grasp its true form. Yeah, because this is how my new life begins. From now on, I'll follow you like a shadow. And when your hatred will overwhelm you, I will come out and take it all 9 of 9. <laughs> Hey, 909, can you hear me? You have to come back. The gate is closing. Blue Apricorn. Negative projection of your Pokemon turned into a ring. It's the Xenoversal ring. Hey, look, all the red energy's gone. Save game just in case. You never know what could go wrong here. Like a uh, visual glitch making your shit look like shit. I see you managed to get the Xenoverse core. Why don't you try the new power right now, 9 of 9? Go on, give the ring to your starter Pokemon. Give this universal ring to your starter Pokemon and put it on top of your party to continue. Next up is already holding one terrestrial ring. Solve the two items. The terrestrial ring is taken and replaced with the universal ring. Mixtape changed form. Look, your Pokemon's changed form. Right. So this is the essence of the Xenoverse core. Your Pokemon has a whole different look, more savage and more animal, just like the Xenoverse, which knows no development. Damn, you just called my Pokemon ugly. Bravo, 9M9. You've been able to bridle your hatred and become stronger. Go on, take your Pokemon. We're going back to Fort Belt now. I hope nothing wacky or uncharacteristic happens when I try to interact with my Pokemon. That music always means something good. What the heck is happening? Doesn't seem to be able to control the blue energy. 909, take your Pokemon back to its basic form. Where did it go now? The situation is critical, 909. Your Pokemon has run away, but it can't have gone far. I'm sure it is still wandering around the volcano. There's no time to waste. I'm going to the top. So is that what happens if you stay in Ohio too long? But uh, now I don't have a starter Pokemon. Makes me wonder what would happen if... Starter Pokemon was my only Pokemon. This way! Scaleon has been right on its tail. Your Pokemon can't escape now. 
But now it's your duty to appease its rage. You're the only one who can do it. 9M9 tried to calm Trice out down. Someone's in trouble here, huh? God damn it, it's Nikocado Avocado. He's come to gloat. I definitely say so. Gengaha. An axe Pokemon? Looks like I'm famous among old fogies too, but I'm not here for my admirers. Gengaha. I got a bone to pick with this brat right here. Trishout is a valid member of the Xenoverse army now, and through it I'll get my revenge! They say it's sweetest when it's served up cold, but who cares? Take him down! The situation is worse than expected. Scalion, go over and help 9 of 9 Bring it on! The boss Pokemon Trishout wants to battle. Use the Cardinal Scalion here. Dang, that's a dumb move to use. If Gengar is supposed to be the smartest of the X Pokemon, then what does that say about the X Pokemon? Was a new move, but you had to visual glitch. I got super potions for days. What? 
I really did shoot myself in the foot by boxing Sharpedo X. You know what? Let's bring in the bird. Because everybody knows that the bird is the word. It's only going to deal neutral damage, but it's... And I'm pretty sure Paw Rock is faster. And harder, and better, and stronger. Okay, maybe not faster, but at least harder, better, and stronger. That's low and root somehow still leveled up. No, 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 and again, no, how can you always come out right? Yeah, this guy's definitely Nikikado Avocado, you know, complete with the crying. Crash have destroy this nobody in the name of our lord! How dare you turn your back on me and join these miserable beings who are superior! Too strong for me right now. I would get out of it easy. Ah, whatever. These fools will deal with the master and then it will be the end for them. And you, little brat, just know that someday I'll get my revenge with my own hands. But until that day comes... Adieu, Genga ha ha! 9M9, try to appease your Pokémon's mind now. Battle made Tri Shout realize the real value of your friendship. Looks like it can control the blue energy now. Fortunately, everything turned out well in the end. Friendship between fellow adventurers overwhelms every spell. Am I right, Scaleon? Now that you have the power in your hands, try to limit the excesses. As you have seen, it's a power which has its foundation in hatred. But when mishandled, it could lead to severe consequences. I urge you to use it well. A real pleasure knowing you, 9M9. It's been years since I last had the chance to meet a valiant trainer like you. With that power, you will finally level the playing field with Victor and his team dimension. Just remember that the almighty Lux Squad watches over your path and protects you. Oh, I almost forgot. Now that you've resolved this issue, I'm sure Nufar is ready to challenge you in her gym. But watch out, she couldn't be as large and muscular as a granddad, but she doesn't mess around, <laughs> Why don't you take this little present from me, too? Parium H. Okay, I get the theming with the... With the hologram Pokémon. Mineral of the Ikarium H. Using that contraption created by Aster, you can invoke my Scalion to plow the skies above Eldu and go back to places you already visited. Why don't you give it a try and fly back to Ishtar? Promise me you'll stand your ground with my niece, okay? So can we fly now? Suppose we can, or I guess we can. I go to Neutron. It's simple. We're not going to challenge Nufar just yet. There's a Pokemon I've been meaning to catch. 
I'm pretty sure it'll be much more useful in the team than Got You Got You. We're just gonna go over... ...here. And... I'm gonna cut out every encounter here that isn't... Expiritum. That way it looks like my first encounter was Expiritum.